Welcome back everybody. We are making tremendous progress on the Super Duty. In the previous episode, we built these door frames. And in this episode, we're going to get each of these corner gussets installed along with a little aluminum bracket or elbow that goes in the corners. Well, I happen to be starting at the top aft part of the door. So I've selected the proper gusset. I've clamped it in place. You can see I've already drilled two holes on the, the aft door frame. And now I'm just going through each of the holes, drilling them out to this number 40 sized. Once everything's drilled out to number 40, I'll remove some of the Clecos and drill it out to a number 30. Now to install this top front one, you really want to pay attention to how you do this because this is one of the ones that has a bend in it. And that bend line is right here. So when you put it on here, this part, the bottom flange here will bend inboard and follow this tube down. So follow the plans, follow the manual, but just take your time and make sure you're putting this on correctly. Each gusset is aligned with the edge of the square tube. And if we look at the top, I have that edge aligned with the edge of the hinge. Now there's really nothing tricky about the bottom front, but you will notice there's three holes on the top and five on the bottom. So you just wanna make sure you have it oriented correctly. For our bottom aft gusset, again, this is one with a bend. You can see the bend line here. So this is straight and this bends inboard like that. So once you get it clamped in place, just like the other ones, drill the holes. Here is the passenger side door complete as far as the outside gussets go. Everything is drilled out to the proper size for the A4 rivets. I drilled out that top hinge to the correct size. And I think what I'm going to do since that is done, and since I have all of the tubes now cut for the pilot side door, I am going to drill and install all of the outside gussets on this door. And I guess what I'll do is just build both doors at the same time. And with a little bit of magic, they are done. So now both doors are complete to the same stage. So let's see what's next. Looking at the next page in the manual, it looks like it's time to start adding these little uh, angles to the corners. And I have those angles laid out here. Now I'm only gonna show you this on one. This one is ready to go. And I have rounded the corners. I've polished all the edges. I've drawn a center line down there and I made two holes on each flange. So I will do that to all of these and they will be ready to install. When I install these angled pieces, I want the door in the correct position. So I've put some spacers between the door and the door seal. I put some there, here, and here. And when you hold the bottom in position, the whole door stays in the position you want. So that when I rivet this in, and all four of these, it will hold the door in the correct position. And what I mean is, if you look at the door from the front, do you see how the back corner of the door sticks out further than the front. So that door has sort of a twist in it. And you wanna to try to build the door with that twist in it. Now you may have to tweak these little angle brackets slightly. All of mine actually fit perfectly except this one. It was just a tad off. So just a little bend 
and uh, it was ready to put back in place. Now you notice I bent it a little bit too far because it wobbles. So just a little tweak with my hands and it will get it perfectly fit. So once the angle is matched perfectly to the door frame, just like all of the other ones, it's time to drill the four holes. Nothing fancy here. For the bottom front angle here, because, these, because the fuselage is angled inward, right? This tube is straight, this tube is coming in at an angle. So obviously this is going to sit a little bit crooked on there. And you can see that I have it kind of taped in place here. But if you notice the bottom, see how it's just a little bit crooked? It's actually, the, this is straight, but the tube is coming in at an angle and that's okay. That's how we want to build the door. But what I'll wind up doing is I'll take this corner right here. I'll draw a line and just kind of file that off a little bit so that it's flush with the door. But we want to actually have that crooked because we want to build that angle into the door. All right, now the last one that goes in the top aft corner is probably the trickiest because of the angle this is uh, formed at. You wanna be careful or pay attention to where you put the holes because when this is on the door, you wanna be able to get your rivet gun in there. If you put the holes too close to the angle, you're not gonna be able to get your rivet gun in there. So just, that's kinda how I did it. I saw what angle I could get to it and that's where I put the holes. So. When you do this, just make sure you can get your rivet gun in there. Here is an update. I have all of these little aluminum brackets in the corners riveted in place. And you can see the door now is free to swing. And what you'll notice is when it closes, it remains flush with the fuselage. So the door is built now with a little bit of twist into it, which is exactly what we want. So it fits the taper of the fuselage. Well guys, if you have stuck around this long in the video, I do appreciate it. Here is my pro tip for you. On the bottom front corner of the door, do you see how you can see the square tube behind the gusset? You'll see that with the clear window. So I wanted to remove that. I drew a black line on there to match the curve and I took it to my disc sander and just with a few swipes of the disc sander you can curve that corner off to match the gusset. Once I was done with the disc sander I just did a little magic with the file to remove some of the sanding marks and then obviously after the file you clean it up with some 400 grit sandpaper to remove any of the marks from the file. and. You'll notice there's a little burr on the inside there. I can get that off with a, a flat, small file. Clean it up again with some sandpaper and check this out. You got a nice smooth edge that's curved that will match the gusset. So here's what it looks like put back on. You can't see it at all. All right, that completes this episode of the doors on the Zenith Super Duty. In the next episode, we're going to remove the doors and get those inside gussets fit, drilled, and riveted in place.